Alright, so today I'm going to show you how you can make a uh, high temperature gasket. Um, so basically you needed a gasket between this and uh, a, uh, a downpipe and a wastegate. And the reason is, I don't, I don't have a clue what, the, what turbo that is, or, well, which car it comes from. And I don't want to go looking for a gasket everywhere, so I'm just going to make one. And basically that's, that's what I need. So, so you trace it out and uh, you press along the edges so you have an outline and then you just you just cut it up. And uh, you have a template that fits. So that's for that. And what I'm gonna use now is this stuff. You can get it at a uh, art supply store it's a, a long roll of copper okay. so there's different different thickness and, and what's not but anyway as long as you can cut it easily so I take that out and uh, start working on so that's what I'm gonna use it's uh, a little bit thin but uh, it'll work it's the only uh, thickness I could get and all I need, I need uh, a soft metal between the two so they would compress and uh, make a, a tight seal and so all, all I have to do is set you up on here Oops. yeah the birds they're back and it's all uh, it's all warm right now it's t-shirt weather so when it was, was cold two days ago and now it's 24 <laughs> 22 or 24 so I'm gonna need a pen just gonna mark it with a uh, sharpie then I cut it off always make a template so much easier to work with and you can get exactly the size and uh, the shape you want and then you just have to transfer it on metal and you save a lot of uh, trimming a harder material yeah so it's 24 today and uh, there's still snow on the lawn so Go figure. I guess what happened when you play with the weather and uh, all that stuff they're spraying. There you go. Uh, all we have to do is uh, cut it off. Okay, so now we have this, and I'm just gonna cut off the rest of it. I don't know if I can... yeah, I think that's the right snip. So snip, snip, snip. You can also use a uh, exacto knife with a soft packing like cardboard and then you just just go along the edge. Oops. Basically what you do is uh, you set up your thumb like this and then you can use it, you can use it as leverage and you can cut too. So there you go, I'm gonna go around. See, it's 
it's rather precise as well. You could also do that with a uh, with pop can aluminium, but I wanted I wanted copper. I was looking for thicker copper than this to make really a, a really nice and sturdy gasket, but I couldn't find it, so I bought it anyways. At least it's copper. There you go. I'm gonna, I have a gasket now. Now I have to do the holes and I'll be able to put it on and it's not gonna leak guarantee there's a lot of them that uh, a lot of gaskets are done this way and uh, it just works you don't have to have anything fancy you need a soft metal so it would it would really press in nice and wouldn't uh, let the air through so that's all you have to do. That's all you need, really. If you have a uh, hole punch, I set the hole punch and you just tap and then you, you make all your holes and it, it's all perfect. But I don't have one. So, one done, four more to go. So there you go. Custom gasket that's gonna withstand the temperature, and yeah, it's not perfect. If you had punch, you had uh, you you'd get nicer holes and everything, but it's gonna work. So that's it. That's it. Right, right, right there. So uh, it's a uh, it's one way you can make a gasket when you don't even know what you're dealing with. And yeah, so my, so I got this to seal there, and now I have to figure out why uh, why this V bin was leaking. I guess it was just not tight enough. And then the oil drop, which I have to go to my friends and uh, bore bore a stick, and uh, then I won't have any leaks. So. You know, there's a another gasket here, which I could replace with copper, because I got this uh, this one here. So, all right, let's make one for the old drop now. So, uh, just gonna line this up like this. I'm gonna skip the uh, the template because I'm used to it, but. And this is not super thick material, so uh, I'm gonna skip it this time. So, I'll trace it. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. And need a, a hole in the, in the center. So. You line it up and you push and you're gonna make the outline appear see so then all you have to do is cut it so There you go. You guys have a good day and talk to you next time.